I think you know there are there are innovations to be expected from layers. Um, first thing, and I think layers are already moving into that direction of creating awareness. You know, there's a there's a lot of material produced in layers for different groups of stakeholders. You know, and there are seriously different groups of stakeholders involved in these processes, in designing those processes or practices. There are also different groups of, of stakeholders that need, need to move together in order to create the, pot the potential impact. I mean, the, in order to realize the potential for impact that we got. And in this, you know, the, the scaling is already in the title of the project. And I think, you know, the, the greatest innovation or potential for innovation I see is that we actually deliver on this promise. That in, you know, it, as opposed to many other projects, we can actually make a bigger impact by reaching more people. And I'm not necessarily all, all, only thinking about people using uh, a new app that we develop, which is fine. But I think that people who collectively actually change their practice in reflecting on what they are doing, understanding these processes and helping their organizations, institutions and networks design better solutions for the future. So this enabling you know, activities, I think these are equally important. And that's what makes layers. That, that's, that, that's, I think, what we can expect as innovations from layers um, in a practitioner-oriented view, professional community view. If we go into the research view, I would guess you know, that we uh, are up for um, rigorous research, uh, coming up with um, theories, enhancing and expanding on existing theories, explaining what's going on in professional workplace learning. I think we can expect innovations there. And we can also expect more normative innovations on uh, how to methodologically um, study networks of people distributed over several organizations. There's not too much research there. Typically relies on, um, on, on, on quite simple data. And we are going to you know, explore a more, much richer set of data. So a methodological uh, contribution I would also see. And third one, the more normative view of um, newly created technology that we will have in a design science oriented view, we'll have claims that we have for behavioral changes translating into positive impact on collaboration, networking, learning, of course, and on productivity and also performance on the job of people. And I was, I guess, you know, one of the most important things I, I think is that uh, we are, as a, as a society, I think we are moving from people collecting material to possess that material. Like, you know, we are collecting and downloading files to store them on our file server to a connected society where people would rather stream than download. But where people would, would not collect that much material, but the collection would be more consequential. Meaning, what, no matter what activities you are engaged in, data is collected anyways automatically about it. And the only thing that we need to worry about is how to make sense about what it means, you know, uh, this consequential action. I think that's a paradigm change there. Um, and if we can, you know, deliver on uh, a better understanding of how we shape that future where, you know, um, lots of data is collected consequentially, then we are making a real difference here.